Hello everyone, this is Summer from MadeInChina.com Bioservice Team. Welcome to our StarTube episode 5. Remember the first episode of StarTube? We have talked about Zhejiang industrial clusters. In today's StarTube, you will see another province, Guangdong industrial clusters. Besides, there will be a case study of product recommendations in the apparel of accessories, lights and lighting, and consumer electronics industries. Let's start. So Guangdong is one of the leading industrial provinces of China, a coastal province located in the south of China's mainland. Adjacent to Hong Kong and Macau, Guangdong is in the heartland of Southeast China and the Southeast Asian Economic Circle. The clusters in Guangdong province have different kinds of categories. This table shows the distribution of product categories in cities and districts. As you can see, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Foshan, and Dongguan are the main cities on trade. And apparel, electronics, lights become the hot industries in Guangdong. It should be noted that there are two outstanding cities among all the other that worth extra attention, Guangzhou and Shenzhen. The gravity they have on the population and the influence across China make them identified as the max city, within which you can basically find all existing industries and well-matured comprehensive industry production lines. There are also two parts of export for them, Guangzhou port and Shenzhen port. I will introduce you one by one. So first one is Guangzhou port. Guangzhou port is currently the largest port for foreign trade in South China. Its international maritime trade reach over 300 ports in more than 80 countries and districts worldwide. The port also serves as the important economic and transport center for the Pearl River Delta region and Guangdong province. The second one is Shenzhen port. The port of Shenzhen is a collective name of a number of ports along with part of the coastline of Shenzhen. The advantage is that the port, the shipping date is efficient. Usually it takes five to 10 days faster than shipping from Guangzhou port. It is also a vital transport hub for industries located in neighboring provinces. Based on the information of Guangdong industry clusters, apparel and accessories, lights and lighting, and consumer electronics are the three most powerful industries among these areas. Furthermore, we did some analysis using big data to tell the global trendy products in these industries and how to find suppliers for them. I will use women apparel dress as an example. And you can see the other three in our full report of the text version. As is shown in the picture, these are the most trendy texts when global consumers are using while searching for the dress. The larger it is, the more frequent it is. And these are the descriptions used by the five hot selling products. These are corresponding products recommended by MadeInChina.com. The southern province of Guangdong continues to be the leading export hub in China. Benefiting from decades of foreign investment, population growth, favorable policies, and accumulated experience. For professional importers, regional advantages remain an irreplaceable factor in choosing suppliers making it a necessity to understand the relative differences and the strengths between industry clusters. Promising investments occur when supply and demand are matched well. Sourcing decisions, therefore, need up-to-date market intelligence. MadeInChina.com uses tools to cross-reference popular products on local market e-commerce platforms such as Amazon, eBay, and Kmart with products in MadeInChina.com's database to accurately identify 
and match trending products for you to source. Okay, that's the end of Guangdong Industrial Clusters. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to contact us at ben at madeinchina.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.